All right, so there's a few things we need to talk about. One is definitely team drivers. This is a big one because now you could get paid while you're asleep in the cab, in the sleeper berth, right? This is real right here. Second is if you're in New York, do not park in residentials because uh, residential uh, owners are uh, been complaining and they basically just put these barnacles on all of these trucks just the other day. And the last one, my buddy Rob Hallahan, not a sponsored video, but... He's looking for some drivers. He has great trucks. He's a great guy, but looking for people out there in La Crosse, Wisconsin. So I'll put all the information down. Let's get into today's video. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to Mother Truck News. Email us at mothertrucknews at gmail.com. I think this is a big one right here for team drivers, right? Uh, CRST settles sleeper birth paid dispute for $2.5 million. It says here, article from Landline, after a federal appeals court ruled that certain truckers should be paid for sleeper birth time, CRST has decided to settle the case rather than challenge the benchmarking ruling. So closing out the final chapter of an eight year old lawsuit, uh, CRST and class of truck driver trainees have reached a settlement worth $2.5 million. The settlement affects team drivers seeking pay for time spent in the sleeper birth now, in December, the First Circuit Court of Appeals affirmed a lower court's finding that time spent in a sleeper berth beyond eight hours is compensatable for team drivers. You know, CRST requested a rehearing and that got denied in February. So, CRST sleeper berth settlement with truckers is the final nail in the coffin for a larger wage lawsuit that was filed in 2016. The lawsuit claimed that trainees for the mega carrier were not paid for hours worked while in training. So, my truckers, this is a big one. And I think this is something that is going to go all across all carriers now. You know, if you're a team driver and after eight hours, your teammate that is sleeping is going to start getting paid as well. Here's another situation right here. You know, we had a mother trucker send us this, you know, chief of transportation, NYPD transport writes, we hear the complaints from residents about commercial vehicles parking in residential areas last Friday. So we deployed four barnacle devices in Queens for these violators parked in residential areas. Thank you for all involved in this initiative. So they basically, yeah, there's no parking. And so what do they do? I'm going to show you images of this right here. Uh, yeah, they, they put this barnacle, they call, on your windshield so you can't drive. You know, um, hey, if there was parking and they had a solution and people are still parking in residential areas, I understand. But when it's the, it's just, is it the chicken before the road, crossing the road, the egg before the bird? I mean, whatever the heck it is, all I got to say is... Um, they're at it again, mother trucker. So just letting you guys know that's what they're doing in New York. So this is not a paid advertisement. This is just a friend asking me to share this information. My buddy Rob owns Hallahan Transport and he's looking for some drivers. If you don't know, he has some of the coolest trucks to drive. Now, this is what he's looking for. Minimum two years over the road and over 23 years old. Clean MVR, livestock and tanker experience a plus must be near La Crosse, Wisconsin. So if you are not near Wisconsin, do not apply. You know, uh, just want to let you know this. You know, I'll put his email down below so that you guys have it if you want to call him or talk to him. But I'm letting you know right now, uh, he's looking for some qualified drivers and, you know, he's a good friend of mine. So, you know, I'm just putting it out there. 